Today's adventure begins with a stunning drive through Glencoe, an area of Scotland that I haven't really explored yet. It's safe to say with the conditions like this, I was pretty excited for the day ahead. But the Monroes for today are a little bit further south. Hi guys, welcome to another video. What a stunning morning I've had with that drive through Glencoe. That's the first time I've been through there and the views were incredible. I had to stop and take some photos and videos. That gets me really excited for tackling the Monroes in that area. Today though, I'm doing two Monroes from Dalmally. And the reason that I'm here is that I've got a huge patch on my Monroe map I haven't done and it's like the southwest area so today's the day that I make a start on them and the first Monroe for me today is up there so I'm really excited to get to the top and see what the views are like up there So this is the cairn that marks me to turn off this track and start heading straight uphill. The views in this glen have been incredible so far. I'm going to get the walking poles out and start making my way towards the first Monroe. So I've made it up onto the first part of today's Monroe and that was a bit of a relentless ascent up there but as you can see behind me the views are stunning So this is the way I came up I came up this path here and once I go to this Monroe that's behind me I'll make my way to the second one over here The winds have picked up ever so slightly but I'm kind of glad because it was absolutely sweltering coming up there So yeah, just about there now Monroe number 110. The views up here are absolutely breathtaking. And this Monroe is called Bena Cockle and is 980 metres high. And it means Hill of the Shell. I think you'll agree with me that the view behind is absolutely stunning. I know that Ben Kruken's there behind me, but I'm not too sure of the other Monroes in this area as this is my first time here. So I'm gonna shut up and I'll show you some of these views. It's safe to say that the views from here to Ben Kruken were pretty special. So I've spent way too long up here on this Monroe. So I better start making my way onto the second one of today. What a place. So 
So I'm just making my way down towards the Bilac, towards the second one road. It looks pretty steep. What a day I've had so far. The views up there were something else. And it feels like spring has finally sprung. But I'm not going to get my hopes up too much yet, as I know there's still time for snow well into April and May. So I'll pick you up and I'll get a bit closer to the top of the next mineral. decided to stop at the bottom of the Bila as this was a great place to have some lunch and it would also let me rest my legs before going up the last steep part. And there we have it, Munro 111. Ben Unich, this one's called, and it's 969 metres high. A little bit less than the one before it, and it means the Fowling Hill. It didn't take long at all to get to this Munro from the other one. I think it was just under an hour, and it wasn't as steep as it looks from over there. It never is. And these two Munros make for a relatively short day. I think it's about eight miles and should take between five and six hours, which is not too bad these days. But yeah, look at these views. Fantastic views in every direction today. It's a little bit hazy, but I can't complain. The route description for the descent of this Monroe describes it as unpleasantly steep and as you can see it is pretty steep on the way down. So that's it for today's video and I'll rate these two Monroes 8.5 out of 10. A fantastic day out. So thank you for making it this far if you did and I hope you'll join me for some more Monroes in the next one. <laughs>